Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So before going to division of line segment, first let me tell you what all topics we are going to cover in this chapter that is constructions. We have division of line segment that will be in part 1. Construction of tangents to a circle from an external point when its center is known that will be in part 2. Construction of tangents to a circle from an external point when its center is unknown that will be in part 3. We will see all these topics one by one in my upcoming videos. In this video we will see division of line segments. Now let's see division of line segment. This can be done by two methods. In this problem we will see both the methods. So you can choose any of the method. Alright. So let's see this problem. Here it says draw a line segment of length 8 cm and divide it internally in the ratio 4 is to 5. So here it says we have to draw a line segment of length 8 cm. So let's draw a line segment AB of length 8 cm. So this is a line segment of length 8 cm. Now we have to divide this line segment in the ratio 4 is to 5. That means we have to find a point on this AB such that that point divides this line in the ratio 4 is to 5. So we have to find this point. We don't know this point, right? So let me erase this point. We have to find that point. So first let's see the first method. So in this method, we will draw a line from point A such that that line makes an acute angle with AB. It can be of any angle but less than 90 degree. That is acute angle. So let's draw a line from point A making acute angle with AB. Let's take this line as X. Now you have to see the total parts. Here the total parts is 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 will give you 9. So now you have to cut 9 equal parts on this line. Equal parts can be of 1 cm or 2 cm but they have to be equal. For that first you will measure 1 cm with your compass using scale and place the compass at this point like this and you will cut this line at 1 cm. Same compass you will place at this point and cut 1 cm. You will repeat this till 9 parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now you will join the ninth point with point B like this. Alright, so let's take these points as A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8 and A9. We want 4 is to 5, we have to take the fourth point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, this point. Now you have to draw a line from A4 parallel to A9B to this line. You cannot do by free hand. So how to draw the parallel line? By making the angles equal that is this angle and this angle. So you can do that by keeping the compass at this point. Take any length. Say this length and cut this line like this. Take any length. Place the compass here. Take any length and cut this line like this. Now take the same length and come to A4. Take the same length and cut like this. Alright. Now you will keep the compass at this point and measure the length from this point to this point. So this length from here to here. Now bring that length to this point and cut this arc. Like this. So now you got a point here. Right? Now you will join these two points to draw a parallel line to this A9B. You have to draw a parallel line joining these two points. So now this line is parallel to this line. So now this line meets this AB at this point, right? Let's take this point as P. So this is the required point which divides the AB in the ratio 4 is to 5. So I hope this is clear. So sometimes they may ask the steps of construction. 
that you can write in your own words. Say step 1, you draw the line segment of length 8 cm. Step 2, what did you do? You draw the line from point A, making an acute angle with AB. Step 3, you saw the total number of parts. Here the total number of parts is 4 plus 5 is 9. So you took 9 equal parts on this line, on the line X. Then you joined A9 with B. Then you draw the line parallel from A4 by making the angles equal. The point that meets AB is the required point, right? So you can write in your own words. So sometimes they may ask justification. So let's see how to do justification in this method. Is this point P actually divides this line in the ratio 4 is to 5 or not? Is it the exact point? We have to justify. Now if you see this diagram, in triangle BAA9, here A4P is parallel to A9B. So by basic proportionality theorem, we can say AA4 by A4A9 is equal to AP by PB. Agreed? Let me write that first. So in triangle BAA9, here we have A4P is parallel to A9B. So by basic proportionality theorem, we can say AA4 by A4A9 is equal to AP by PB. So what is AA4? AA4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 parts by A4, 9 from A4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 parts. So this is equal to AP by PB. So our AP is 4 and PB is 5. So hence justified. I hope this is clear. Now let's see how to do this by second method. Now let's see second method. Here first we will draw a line segment of length 8 cm. So we have a line segment AB of length 8 cm. Now we have to divide this AB in the ratio 4 is to 5. We have to find that point, right? In this method also you will draw a line from point A such that that line makes an acute angle with AB. So let's draw a line from point A making acute angle that is less than 90 degree. Let's take this as X line. Now from point A you have to divide this by 4 parts, right? So you will take a compass at this point. Now you have to make equal 4 parts on this line. You will take 1 centimeter in your compass, place the compass here and cut like this 4 parts from this point 1 more centimeter. You have to make a equal parts. We are taking 1 centimeter. So all parts should be of 1 centimeter. So 1, 2, 3 we have to make a 4 parts. From point A we have to make here it is 4. So you have to make 4 parts. So let's take this point as A1, A2. A3 and A4. Now you will draw another line from point B opposite to this line. But that line has to be parallel to AX. You have to draw from point B. So we know how to make a line parallel by making their angles equal. Right? Now you will keep a compass here. Take any length and cut this line like this. Now take same length and keep the compass at this point and cut like this. Right? Now you will keep the compass at this point and measure the length from this point to here. You will take in the compass. Now you will keep the same compass at this point with the same measure. You will cut this arc like this. So now you got a point here. Right? You will join these two points to draw a parallel line to this. So let me make it parallel. Now this looks parallel. So we made this angle equal to this angle, right? Let's take this line as Y. So from point B, we have to make 5 parts. Same procedure. 
you will keep a compass at this point and take one centimeter in your compass and make five parts from here to one part two three four and five let's take this point as b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 now simply join a4 and b5 the point of intersection this point on ab is your required point let's take this as p so you got the point p so here also you can write steps of construction if asked right so now let's see justification so now if you see the diagram here in triangle a a4 p and triangle b b5 p we made these two angles equal angle a is equal to angle b right and here angle a p a 4 this angle is equal to b p b 5 they are vertically opposite angles right obviously your third angle will be equal so by a a a similarity rule we can say these two triangles are similar to each other right so first let's write that so in triangle a a 4 p and triangle b b 5 p we know angle A is equal to angle B and we also know angle A4 PA is equal to angle B5 PB since vertically opposite angles. So therefore your third angle will be equal right angle A4 is equal to angle B5. So by A A A similarity rule we can say triangle A A 4 P is similar to triangle B B 5 P. So if these two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides has to be equal. So here the ratio of the corresponding sides are A A 4 by B B 5 should be equal to A P by P B. So A A 4 1 2 3 4 4 parts by B to B 5 is 5 parts is equal to A P by P B. So your A P is 4 and P B is 5. So hence justify. I hope both the methods are clear. Now let's see one more problem. Alright. Now let's see this problem. Here it says draw a line segment A B of length 7 cm using ruler and compass. Find a point P on AB such that AP by AB is equal to 3 by 5. So here I will go for first method. Alright, so we have to draw a line segment AB of length 7 cm. Let's draw a line segment AB of length 7 cm. So now we have to find point P on AB such that AP by AB is 3 by 5. For your understanding, let us take this point as P. So we have AP by AB is 3 by 5. So here AP is 3 parts and AB, AB is 5 parts. Now what is PB? PB will be 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 will give you 2. Right? As I said, we have to see the total parts. Here the total parts is 3 plus 2 that is 5 parts, right? So this question can be asked in other way around. They can say AP by PB is equal to 3 by 2. So AP is 3 and PB is 2. In that case also the total remains the same, right? 3 plus 2 is 5. So seeing this ratio, you have to write the parts like this. I hope you are getting my point. So next step is to draw a line from point A making acute angle with AB. Right? But before that, let me erase this point. So we have to find this point, right? So let's draw a line from point A making acute angle with line AB. So let's take this line as X. Now we have to see the total parts. Here the total parts is 5. We have to make 5 equal parts on this line, right? So let's take 1 centimeter in the compass, place the compass at this point and cut this line at 1 centimeter. Now repeat the same. Put your compass at this point and cut like this. 
This you have to repeat till five parts. One, two, three, four, and five. Now let's name this A one, A two, A three, A four, and A five. Next we have to join this point with point B, like this. So next step is from A. It is three parts. So let's take third part. One, two, three. A three. This point. Now you have to draw a line parallel to A five B from this point. So how do you do that? By, by making angles equal. That is this angle and this angle. For that you will keep your compass at this point. Take any length and cut this line like this. Now take the same length compass and keep it at this point A three point and cut like this. Now you will keep the compass at this point and measure the length from here to here with your compass. Now take the same length and keep the compass at this point and cut this arc like this. So you got the point here. Now join these two points to make a parallel line to A five B. This line meets A B at this point, right? So this point is the required point. So let's take that point as P. Now let's justify this. Let's see the justification. So if you see the diagram here, in triangle B A A five, we know A three P is parallel to A five B. We made them parallel. So by B P T, that is basic proportionality theorem, we can say A A three by A A five is equal to A P by A B. That is the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal, right? So let's write that. So in triangle B A A five, we have A three P is parallel to A five B. So by basic proportionality theorem, we can say A A three by A A five is equal to A P by A B. So here A A three, A to A three is three parts. So three by A to A five, A to A five is five. One, two, three, four, five. Five parts, right? Should be equal to A P by A B. So we got A P by A B is three by five. Hence justified, right? So if you are going for second method, what you will do? You will take three parts on this line and you will draw a parallel line from B opposite to this line. That will be like this, making the angles equal. So from B, how many parts? Two. So you have to cut two parts on B Y line. Then simply joining third point and second point. So that will also give the same point, right? So I hope you can do that. So this is it in this video. See you soon. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.